Not a day goes by without Rashawn Davis wondering whether he'll get a knock at the door. Born in Jamaica, he moved to the UK when he was 11 and has lived here for the past 20 years. Ten years ago, he served a two-month custodial sentence but hasn't been in trouble since. He's married to a British woman and has a baby. Efforts to try and deport him led him to be taken to an immigration removal centre before he was released at the start of lockdown. Now he's in limbo. It drives you insane, like, your family, your friends, like, you're here with them today and then you can just be taken away from them and put somewhere that you don't know. It's ridiculous, like, it, it's, it's nerve-wracking, it's stressful and it's heartbreaking at the same time. It's thought between 800 and 1,000 people deemed low risk have been released since the start of the COVID-19 lockdown. Some are staying in home office accommodation or with families and are required to stay in contact with the authorities. Many still have outstanding claims to stay in the UK. Others want to return to their country of origin but can't because of the current travel restrictions. Some people remain inside these immigration removal centres and campaigners say it is difficult to socially distance in this type of setting and that they should have been emptied entirely. And that even with fewer people inside, a limited number of toilets, hand sanitizer and general hygiene facilities put detainees at risk. In a statement, a government spokesperson told us removals are still taking place where routes are available and immigration enforcement are following the latest guidance from Public Health England. And we make no apology for seeking to remove serious, violent and persistent foreign national offenders and continue to do so using all the usual mechanisms. Lawyers representing detainees say the whole system of detention needs overhauling and the current situation is a worry. A large proportion of the people who make up the immigration estate uh, have uh, pre-existing vulnerabilities, um, have got mental and physical health issues um, and often have experienced uh, past traumas. Um, which is why they came to the UK or they experienced on the way of getting here. The ongoing fear of re-detention and deportation, that is only going to increase uh, the stress on an individual um, and probably damage their psychological well-being. Rashawn hopes he'll get to be around to see his daughter grow up. In these very uncertain times, many lives are on hold. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera.